guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chloe Brown and I am so happy that you are here today. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do a really, really tight wand-ish curl with a one inch flat iron. I am so excited to show you guys. I think I've truly perfected <laughs> my way of doing this. Um, you guys ask all the time, like if I could just buy one tool um, and use it for straightening, curling, waving, what would it be? I would say the one and a half inch new classic flat iron from Croc all the way around, like absolutely. But some people are like, it's kind of hard for me to figure out how to curl my hair super tight with that flat iron. Now, if you have shorter hair, I would highly suggest a one inch. Uh, this is the one inch hybrid, works fantastic. Um, it doesn't have the infrared technology, but it does have the black titanium plate, so works great. I absolutely love it. My hair always feels super healthy and shiny um, when I use anything with the black titanium plates. So if you are interested in getting a 30% off code with Croc on those flat irons, it is Chloe30 and that'll get you 30% off. I'll put the link down below to every single uh, flat iron that I mentioned in this tutorial so you guys can easily navigate where to get those. Um, without further ado, let's just get right into the tutorial. I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks I know on how to create this big voluminous hairstyle. All right, so today I'm gonna be using my croc hybrid flat iron now this is the one inch and the reason why i'm going to be using this one today is because i want really tight curls um i'm going to be doing like like a wand curl kind of just really 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 tight curls on my hair so i'm going to be using this guy today first off i have my flat iron set to 330 degrees and i am going to be doing tight curls right at the root and just keep on curling this down just like that. So that curl is super tight in there. Do you see that? Really tight with the straight end. The next curl, I'm gonna be curling in towards my face and then releasing that. And something that really helps me with these curls is um, when I take them, I grab the bottom and then wrap it some more as I'm going down. So that just allows tightness. The, the harder you clench, the plates together the tighter it's going to be and then the slower that you go the tighter it's going to be i wouldn't suggest super high heat on these um, and the reason why i like these black titanium plates is because it distributes heat very evenly so there you go little tips on on things so this one just really tug through there we go this next one will be towards my face And then when I get to the back, I just like to do everything like meeting in the middle. So I do away from my face and then on the other side, I do away from my face. Do them all uniform when we get to the back. As we get to the top layers, you'll be able to do more towards your face. You just have less hair here because your ear. <laughs> I always like these face framing hairs to go away from my face. Um, so I'm gonna start it at the root. And the reason why I go upside down here is just to get more control on the barrel so that the hair lays or curls exactly where I want it to. So I go over this way. Since I'm right-handed, I go over to the left side and then curl it that way. When I come over here, I just angle it this way. Okay, same thing on this side. Now, if your flat iron, I get a lot of people saying that your, your flat iron is pulling your hair. Uh, it shouldn't pull your hair, your hair should easily glide through the plates. So if it is pulling your hair, you might have some product build up on your hair that's making your hair stick to the plates or your flat iron just might not be great. And then if your hair ever smells like it's burning, stop curling. <laughs> stop using your flat iron and turn your flat iron down. Um, sometimes that burning smell also um, is product in your hair no. now right when i get to this middle section i do want to put some type of gritty something so i'm going to be using the what a tease back comb in a bottle and that just adds a lot of separation hold but i want it at the roots there we go all right as we get to the top sections i might do these in two sections let's see yeah my hair is i don't have like my hair is pretty soft there's a lot of like 
some people say it's fine. Some people say it's like a normal texture, but I have a ton of it. I get people saying, wow, you have a lot of hair or it's very dense, but it's pretty soft and fine. All right, so we are going to curl away from the face, just like that. Sometimes like people are like, I don't know what to do with these ends. They don't curl very well. So just take them and finish curling them <laughs> or you can curl them down. Now, if your hair needs teased, I would suggest teasing your hair before you do these curls. That way you don't mess up the curl. Like if your hair doesn't hold a curl very well, I would tease it before and then curl on top. Uh, that way you don't have to brush out the curl and you might lose it. My hair holds a curl very well, so I can tease after. So you wanna get that curl right to the root and push really tight and then release. There we go. Right, then right here I'm going to just tease at the root, spray some of that back comb in a bottle, tease, spray, all right and I'm not going to touch these front sections for teasing just yet. I'm gonna curl this last section. I'm still gonna be parting it in the middle and then I'll do that flip. If you're new here and you're like, what's that flip? Um, this is how I get a really big volume on my hair when I style it with the big part. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about those ends because I am gonna flip it, so I'll fix it when it's done. So on these, I still make sure that the curl is right at the root. Um, just for this hairstyle, I like that. Some uh, Most of the time when I curl my hair up at the top, I don't go super close to the root, but for these, I really like them pretty high up there. Now, if your hair is not curling very tight, um, I would suggest you taking less amount of hair. So instead of taking like a big chunk like this, take smaller sections. The smaller the section, the tighter the curl because the less you're curling so he is able to get to all of your hair. I like curling in smaller sections too because it allows more separation. Wow, my spray tan, I just noticed that. <laughs> Need to take some alcohol, rubbing alcohol and rub it off. Keep going until it's done. Okay, just like this. I'm gonna tease this part right here. Just like that. I'm gonna tease the back part. Spray. Okay, and then once it's like this, I'm gonna do that flip. And then I'm gonna spray up here, just like that. And then for all this right here, I'm just gonna tease just a little bit right there. And then I'm not gonna tease at the front because I'm gonna tuck it. Okay, see this piece that's like sticking up? I'm like, mm. we're gonna take it, we're gonna curl it towards our head and then it goes away. All right, now I'm gonna take some fine hairspray or light hold. I'm gonna spray everywhere. All right, and if you see anything poking out that you don't want, just curl it under just like that and then it'll kind of tame and go right into the head. I think this side's fine. Maybe this one just curl a little bit. And there we go, sassy. Sassy, sassy hair.
to put on some earrings. All right, and here we go, the finished product. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this tutorial um, and happy quarantine. Play around with your hair as much as possible during this quarantine time. I noticed that um, the past like week I wasn't doing my hair or makeup at all and I just kind of felt sluggish and I felt like my mental state wasn't very good. So even if you're going nowhere and we're all staying home, get ready. I promise you it'll make you feel better. So I hope you guys have a great week and stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.